difference, so there's probably no reason for me to do it. Yeah, so if we can stop in third, it just means the clutch goes down a tiny bit earlier, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah? Right, can you remember years ago, <laughs> you're driving this as you're turning the road? Yeah, you are asked to do a turn in the road. Yes. Yeah, so let's just have a, let's have a chat about it and just see what, <laughs> what they're looking for. It's control. Yeah, yeah. So, so we don't be shooting across there and bouncing off the curbs, yeah? <clears throat> so it's old man's walking pace. Yeah. yeah. Um, the observations that I have you if you uh, if you're struggling, yeah, and it's reasonable accuracy, yeah. Okay. So if we can just stop uh, uh, before we t uh, before we touch the curbs either side, yeah? yes. Yeah. Well, let's have a go and see how it goes, yeah. Okay. Wonderful. So just tell me where you're going to look first. Uh, I'm going to look at my blind spot before I move off. Yep. <laughs> So here we're gonna we're gonna start with the right shoulder, right over over the blind spot area. Yeah. Now we see that pedestrian coming up behind us. Yes. So we we'll probably just hold still just to leave. Okay. It gets past. All right. And then we're gonna scan all the way around to the back window. Okay. Of the left shoulder, and then we're gonna be looking over that left shoulder as we reverse back. Okay. He's gonna stand there for ten minutes. He's gonna let his dog do his. Yeah. What's this? So what we do, we just hold steady just till he gets out of the way. Okay. So have a good check around all you all around again. So start with your right and finish with the left. Okay. And then we're going to transfer our observations over to the right shoulder there, right over the blind area. That's it. That's good, Andy. Well done. And we're going to drive on if it's clear. Bad, is it? <laughs> like memories, isn't it? <laughs> oh, I've done it just. At least got power steering this time. Yeah. Now, Andy, it's lucky to pull up and stop on the left. A couple of car lengths before the next turn. It's just, just anywhere along here. We're indicating that I was invisible men again, haven't we? Yeah, uh, I was looking at that polo and thinking. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's not uh, uh, the polo is not going to benefit because it's gone that way. He's gone already, gone yeah. past. Yeah, yeah. Right, so now that you've stuck the indicator on, what do you want to do with it? Right, so just ahead of you, we've got a turning on the left. Okay. What we're going to do? We're going to drive past it, and we're going to stop the other side of it, and then we're going to reverse into the turning on the left. If you reverse back for about two to three car lengths. Okay. Yeah. God help us. <laughs> right. <laughs> So again, what we're looking for is that walking pace. Okay. Yeah. All round observations. Yeah. Um, so you're going to be looking over your left shoulder for the main part of the manoeuvre. Yeah. But but it's very important to keep an eye happening on the right shoulder and ahead of us. Okay. And when you turn the wheel to the left, where's the front of the car going to go? Swing outwards. Yeah. So it's very important before you actually make any decision to turn that you that you check all around. Yeah. Okay. Kind of got a look right off your right shoulder there, didn't you? Well, to the right window. Anyway. Off it, right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hello. I'd have given you a 10 out of 10 if that was a van. Well, we're not, we're driving the car, aren't we? <laughs> <laughs> So basically I can get a bus in between the... Uh... No, 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 what I mean by uh, I'd have given you 10 out of 10 if that had been a van, because the van's only got door mirrors, you haven't got any... Um, oh, okay, Yeah. right. <laughs> most most vans haven't got a rear window or side windows, yeah? Yeah, yeah, obviously you mustn't do it in the mirrors, yeah? 
Okay. Do you know why? Uh, because you've, you've still got the blind spot there, I guess. Yeah, unless you say a kid, he comes out of that house there yeah. and walks beyond the car. If you just look at it, that left over, you're not going to see him, right? Absolutely. Yeah? So I'll try that one again. Okay. Back to the drawing board. <laughs> yeah, yeah, control was fine. Um, yeah, when you look over that right shoulder, it really, uh, I should be able to see you right, uh, I should be able to see you right here from here, really, yeah? Okay, so real yeah. accentuated. Just rubbing the curb. Tip of the curb, eh? Cool. I would take that speed and probably cut it by half, yeah? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Uh, just give yourself a little bit a little bit more time, yeah? Yeah. Got you. Alright, take three. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well the first one in the van was very good, wasn't it? Ah oh, dear I do. <laughs> Clutch to keep that keep those wheels of the car just turning. Now, what do you see over your right shoulder? I'm uh, approaching vehicle. Yeah, so what's it? What do we need to do as you go as fast? Yeah. Didn't actually stop, did we? No. Okay, we'll be doing lots of practice today. Yeah. <laughs> How did that feel? That's quite nerve-wracking actually, because th that was my weak spot 23 years ago, and obviously still is. Yeah. But, yeah. What do you reckon probably makes it easier? Um, if you if you look at the big red area, is going to be the observations. What do you need to give yourself time to look properly? You've got to control your speed. So yeah. It's probably yeah. too fast. I yeah. Think so I'd, I'd have been just. Dropping that clutch down about half the thickness of a pound coin, that would have pulled the speed away there. Yeah, yeah? okay. Uh, because we had a black car come past us, yeah? Yeah. And as soon as that car, I would say, gets to a, about that tree there, yeah. you really don't want to be moving because okay. don't forget we're actually reversing against flow of traffic. Yeah. yeah. So if they were to take our, our door mirror off as they went past, we'd have to put our hands up and say it was their fault because we're going backwards Yeah. In their, on their side of the road, yeah? Got you. So, so to spot all that, but, but the main thing uh, and the hardest thing to spot is pedestrians, yeah? Yeah. And pedestrians are always going to be crossing here, aren't they? Uh, because Absolutely. Because they walk down the road. They won't walk behind the car. Uh, um, well, sorry, they will walk behind the car when you go backwards. Yeah. If you go forwards, they, uh, uh, they'll walk in front of you. Okay. It's just a natural reaction of the way, yeah? Yeah. So, yeah, you need that time to scan all around you all the time, yeah? And don't forget, after you pass your power two, you're going to be teaching me this, so... <laughs> a little bit of practice now. Yeah, yeah, you'll be moaning at me, yeah? <laughs> yeah, you think this one's bad, you wait till you try the right hand reverse. <laughs> I'm sure. Right, uh, uh, can you remember years and years ago I've been doing a mirror stopping your test? 
Yes. Have you ever had to do one for real? Yep. Yeah? Yep. So, what do you know about the anti-lock braking system then? Um, not a huge amount other than the fact that it, will, it, it won't lock the, uh, lock the wheels into a skid um, in dry conditions. Um, apart from that, I don't know an awful lot about it. Yeah, so it, if it, uh, it, it doesn't actually stop the wheels actually locking up because they can actually lock up very slightly and that's, and that's where the anti-lock braking system will cut in, yeah? Yeah. Have you any idea how you know when it cuts in? Um, I know certainly on my car you get a, an ESP warning on it just to say it's that's kicked in with a, an audible sound. Yeah, you, you actually get a physical one as well. You get a vibration underneath your foot. Right. Yeah. Um, the main advantage of your anti-lock braking system is the fact that you can steer. Yeah. Yeah. But for the purpose of the exercise that we're going to carry out, we're not going to steer, yeah, because it, it's a simulated okay. emergency stop, yeah. But you can actually steer under under emergency braking. With, with, with a car that's got anti-lock brakes, where if the car didn't have anti-lock brakes, you couldn't steer, yeah? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna simulate an emergency stop, yeah? And what we're gonna do is, and it's gonna be my job to make sure it's clear, don't worry, I will do, yeah? Uh, you'll see me have a look over my right shoulder, but please don't take that as an indication that it's clear, yeah? Okay. Yeah, uh, it's just me double checking. So I want you to drive on normally, and the signal I'm going to give you and I want you to stop is put my hand up and say stop, yeah? Okay. When I do that, I want you to imagine that Achilles run out in front of us. Okay. Yeah? Um, you know, it's just to see what, uh, what your action time is like and, yeah. and what your braking is like, yeah? Okay. So if we turn right to the T-junction here, yeah? Okay, no problem. And I want you to be prepared for an emergency stop. So the only signal that I want you to respond to is my hand going up with the word stop. Okay. But I will look over my right shoulder, but please just ignore that, yeah? Okay, we will do. And then we're going to drive on when you're ready. Now, before we drive on, uh, just in case you don't remember from 23 years ago, it, it's very important that we start off the left shoulder yeah. and check the left line spot and scan all the way around the front of the car and then back to the right shoulder before okay. pulling away. Yeah? Fine. That's a very good stop. I won't be asked to repeat that again. Well done. And we're going to turn left, please. Where my old gearbox away, didn't you? I'll get used to it. <laughs> I'll get you automatic, you know? <laughs> I take it your Audi's manual, is it? It is, yeah. Subaru before was an auto, but uh, yeah, I prefer a radio to be honest. And Andy, we're going to follow the road straight on, please. Okay. At, at this roundabout and the next one. Okay. That was good the way you had a good look in the mirror to check what was happening before you went anywhere near the brake, yeah?
turn right at the lights, please. Good planning there. If they'd gone up behind them, we would have been yeah, uh, there. We would have been stuck in the middle, wouldn't we? That's where that's where your experience comes in. Yeah. About thirty thousand a year, yeah, yeah, just over, all over the place, really. That's roughly about the same you do as a driving instructor, really. Yeah, <laughs> I thought that. <laughs> Take the next turning to the left, please. Okay. So that was good after we turned, you had a good you had a good look at the interior mirror and see what followed you into the new road, yeah? Yeah. If you, if you, if you just have a look at the right-hand door mirror as well, just to make sure there's nobody nipping the overtake off you. Okay. If somebody was overtaking you, what would you do then? Uh, slow down, let them pass. Yeah. And what would be the consequence of not doing that? It would be, um, well, you didn't. <laughs> Someone would have to get away in the end. Yeah, they'd probably end up uh, kissing that Range Rover, wouldn't they? Yeah. Which would be very nice on a nice sunny day, would it? <laughs> oh. Where do you stay when you get to Limman? 
Uh, we're stopping halfway actually in Rouen, and then um, we're uh, we're kipping in the car. Yeah. <laughs> so the, ki the kids reckon they're going to stay up all night. Uh, right. Righto. So we'll see about that. We're going to be turning right. Okay. So just leave it here. Uh, to let you know I'm running. Yeah, I couldn't get any accommodation for about a hundred mile radius. So really? uh, yeah, it's uh, absolutely stacked out. Have a caravan. Yeah, I used to have one actually, I must admit. Storage got so expensive that. Uh... Yeah, and the towing is so expensive now. Oh, the, the price of fuel. Isn't it? Absolutely. And my friends call me a shed putter as well, so. Yeah. yeah. A little bit more because but if you sit back too far then everybody behind us is getting stuffed yeah. in there. Yeah, you want to take that forward a little bit more, Andy. Maybe we might have lost the opportunity oh. there, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you seem to uh be a bit frightened in the yellow box. Yeah, I was a little bit hesitant there. Yeah, what does the yellow box mean then? Uh you don't enter it if there's another vehicle in there. Mmm does not uh doesn't mean that, it means that if you're turning right, you can wait in the box, providing the road that you're turning into is not blocked yet. Oh, right, okay. Yeah? No, I didn't know. So to simplify that rule, if your exit from the box is clear, you can wait in it, yeah? Yeah. Or you can go into it. So you're going to go for a car uh, solely for the driving tuition purpose, or would you have to do a mixture of both, you know, family use and? Yeah, mix, bit of a mixture really. Um, Ella, my wife's got a car anyway, but uh, what's she got? Uh, she's got an Audi as well, Audi A3. And we're going to turn right into the lights. So 
Right, just have a look at your position there uh, for the left to centre. Have a look at the window there. Where, do, where does the centre line? Uh, what, just here? Yeah, if you have a look at that window there. Yeah. Um, are you are you no. close to the white line or are you quite really, a long way away? No, I'm also facing slightly that way. Yeah. Yeah, so I'll uh, I'll give you a hand to line up a reference point for that on the next one, yeah? Okay. Yeah, so why is it important to be left to centre? Um, if you're turning right to yeah. some other traffic or um, yeah. people can come down the side of you if the road's wide enough. Yeah, and it reinforces that signal as well, doesn't it? Yeah. Like if you were too far to the left of the white line, people might just think you let your indicator yeah. on and start overtaking you. And the consequence of that is that you're not you're not actually parking and you move away and they move away. Yeah. And obviously it's it's very important as well that we're not too far to the right of the white line, so in other words we're not over it. Yeah. If somebody comes around the corner, you know, the road's gotta be blocked, isn't it? Absolutely. We're going to take the next turning to the right. Okay. A little, little bit too far past the point of turn there. Bit of a swan neck. Yep. And we're going to turn right to the end of the road, please. <laughs> yeah, I knew you wouldn't spot the road so no. much there because of the fact that you were uh, you were concentrating so much on how to uh, uh, salvage your turn there. Yeah, absolutely. Andy, we're going to turn right at the light, so I'm going to talk you into this position for left to centre, yeah? Okay. So we just go through your normal routine. So we're going to turn right. Now we just steer to you a bit. Steer to you a bit more. Steer to you a bit more. Now straighten up. Now just stop just short of the junction for a minute. Well, we're not inconvenience anybody. Now just tell me where the centre line cuts into the car. Uh, it's just past the... Uh, just before the windscreen wiper edge. Right, that's your, that's your reference point. If you have a look at... Better the window there at the door, Marie, you'll see you yeah. left to centre now, yeah? Yeah. And we're going to turn right to the end of the road. Just tell me how you're going to uh, get that left to centre. Uh, I'm just going to bring the centre line just to the right hand side of the windscreen wiper here. Still too far over. <laughs> Got another foot. Yeah, so as we move away, you can just correct that slightly. Yeah. I might even um, dig out a reference point for a tar and tarmac, wouldn't I? I'll get there. 
Yeah, we have a system Just where <laughs> where if the rod's quiet, we go out and measure it, and for every oh. yeah, for every foot that you're out, it costs you fiver. Fiver? Yeah. Flipping it. That's, that's on a weekend. That's, that's on a weekend. Is it really? Yeah, and oh, the weekend is about ten or anything. You won't see me at the weekend for that. <laughs> <laughs> So which way are we turning here? Turning right. Okay, so well then. Position the spot. Andy, there's a space. Oh, we're going to look for a space. I think there's a space just past this one. If you can just reverse into it. Okay. Keep it all by his walking patient here, no problem here, yeah? Okay. So you start reversing sensors. Okay. Hey? Yeah, look at the back end a bit more, look at the silver vehicle behind you. That's far enough. Oh, hold it in. Right, so we have a look in that shop window, see, see how that helps you? Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah? <laughs> there your parking sensors. <laughs> yeah, should have said that, should yeah. I? Do you want me to? Uh... Yeah. Let's yeah, get it off. Oh, many cross bands there. Dear, dear. Yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be too worried about you crossing your hands when you're doing a manoeuvre. Okay. Um, What's your, what's your drive? Do you know what drive steering is? No. It's where you're turning the wheel when the car's not moving. Right. Obviously, years ago when you learned to drive in a, in a car that and it, it didn't have power steering, it was it, it was near impossible to do. Yeah. Anyway. But obviously, with power steering, it's very easy to do it. Yeah. But if you think about the damage that you're going to do to the power steering mechanism, yeah. Um, that's why they frowned upon it. Yeah. Okay. It's to try and get the car moving and then then start turning the wheel. Yeah. Yeah. Got you. Yeah, I'd have actually come in there a bit slower. Okay. Was it was it uphill or downhill? Downhill. Yeah, so what would we use going down the hill to control the speed? Uh, foot brake. Yeah, and keep the clutch on the floor. Yeah. Yeah? Because obviously the downhill is going to take you back. It's not classed as coasting. Uh, because okay. of the fact that we're actually doing a manoeuvre, so we can't actually coast it. Ah, oh, right, that's, yeah, yeah? that's why I was, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's why a lot of people think, oh, you know, I mustn't coast. Yeah. And, but obviously, by bringing the clutch at the biting point, when you let the handbrake down, it's like letting letting the dog off the lead, and then yeah. she, he's just going to run away from you. Yeah. Right, let's switch off a minute. I relax. Okay. How that feel? That is nerve wracking, Tony. I have yeah. to say. Yeah. It's. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There's nothing. There's nothing to be too worried about. Um, as I say, you've got that experience behind you. Your driving's very smooth. Obviously, we have got some bad habits to work on. Yeah. But yeah, nothing major. I've seen a lot worse. Yeah, um, you tend to be a little bit faster in the built-up areas. Yeah. Um, you tend to be a, a little bit faster on the manoeuvres than what you want to be, really. Uh, okay. You, you want to think it is the wheels of the car just moving, yeah? Yeah. Um, because you can't afford to um, uh, to miss out on the observations. Yeah. And obviously at the level that you're going to be uh, examining that, you've got to get the accuracy as well, yeah? Mm. Mm. So, you know, you must have the control to start with, and then the other uh, the other two will follow quite easy, yeah? Okay. Um, yeah, yeah. on the first uh, uh, left-hand reverse we've done, um, yeah, you got around the corner fine. But but the reason why I said it, it would have been good if we'd been in the van was that you'd done it all in the door mirror, wasn't it? Mm. Mm. And obviously, now that if you think about it, you, 